23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Callum Hallman. and here's some of the stories making headlines locally. Governor Gavin Newsom made his second visit to Kern County this week, calling it a, quote, vibrant and incredibly important part of the state. His most recent stop, the mass vaccination site at CSUB. To have that spirit that's defined by a vision statement of joy uh, and happiness that uh, should make you eager to take advantage of this holiday weekend and make your way over here. Newsom continued his push to get more people vaccinated at CSUB's vaccination hub. Kaiser Permanente Kern County Senior Vice President David Womack says the CSUB consortium headed by Kaiser Permanente, Adventist and Dignity Health can vaccinate 5,400 per day, but have vaccinated 5,600 in total. We don't have enough people coming through our gates. We have plenty of vaccine, um, but the folks uh, who are in the eligible tiers right now um, we need the tiers, frankly, to open wider so that uh, we can have more people take advantage of that and put an end to this pandemic. Kaiser Permanente encourages anyone 16 and over in the eligible zip codes to walk in, in addition to anyone eligible available for an appointment through my turn. They are currently administering Pfizer vaccines, and the governor also said he'll have an update on the California tier system soon. 23ABC will continue to bring you updates as soon as they come into our newsroom. And speaking of eligibility, instead of waiting a couple weeks for the expansion, the Central Valley Health Clinic is expediting the process. Clinica Sierra Vista, a health clinic primarily servicing the Central Valley, announced yesterday that anyone 18 and up is now eligible to get vaccinated at any of their clinics. Spokesperson Tim Callahan telling 23ABC that the new eligibility rules come from having a better vaccine supply. And now 23ABC's Bain Froney has a check of our Saturday forecast. Our Easter weekend is looking sunny and warm. We are going to be back in those mid 80s today. About 86 is a high here in Bakersfield, 85 over in McFarland, 84 Delano, and we're going to be seeing 83 over in Taft. In our mountain communities, they're going to be in those 70s and low 80s in some areas like Lake Isabella. We're going to be seeing 83 today, 81 up in Kernville. We'll be seeing 74 in Tehachapi as well as over in Fraser Park. In our desert communities, they'll be in those upper 80s, low 90s in some areas like in Ridgecrest and China Lake. We could be seeing 87 over in California City. Now we are going to be seeing those temperatures take a slight dip tomorrow, 82 degrees for our Easter Sunday, but still we are going to be seeing that nice and sunny skies. Come Monday, we are going to be seeing a little bit more cloud coverage with temperatures in those upper 70s. Those 70s are going to continue on Tuesday, but come Wednesday and Thursday, we could be back in those low 80s with sunny skies throughout the rest of the week and into next weekend. Now taking a look at our mountain communities, they'll be in those 80s and 70s, especially in Kern River Valley for the next couple of days. Detached Bean Fraser Park will be in those mid 70s for this weekend, enjoying a nice Easter Sunday with some warmer temperatures. But then come Monday, they could be back in those 60s for the rest of the week. They are going to be seeing a little bit more seasonal average temperatures with some sunnier skies all throughout the rest of the week. That's a look at what's making headlines. We'll have another update for you later today.